Hey, welcome back and in this video we are going to talk about subdomain enumeration. Now this is not just some normal video where I'm going to show you fuff commands or go buster commands and show you how oh, these are the subdomains of this particular domain. No, we are going to see what are the types of subdomain enumeration, what is certificate transparency, logs, how you can find subdomains through DNS records, how you can find subdomains through SSL certificates and then we are going to look at ASN numbers as well. So it's going to be a unique video where you will learn what actually subdomain enumeration is, understanding both the commands and the logic behind it. So let's start with passive subdomain enumeration. This is the process of discovering subdomains without directly interacting with the target domain. So it relies on publicly available sources such as search engine, DNS records, certificate transparency logs and third-party services. Okay, what are certificate transparency logs? Certificate transparency logs basically keep the database of SSL certificates. Now what is SSL certificate? SSL certificate is a digital certificate that provides secure encrypted connection between a website and a user's browser. It uses encryption to protect data as it travels between a website and its visitors. And it also verifies the identity of the website. So when you visit a website with an SSL certificate, you know it's actually the website it claims to be and not an imposter. Also, websites that use SSL certificate also use HTTPS. So if you see HTTPS on the website, that means it's secure and indicates that the communication between your browser and the website is encrypted. So these are the indication that the website is using SSL certificate and is verified. Now, one interesting thing to note about SSL certificate is that it can secure unlimited number of subdomains under a single domain. For example, a wild SSL certificate for star.example.com would secure www.example.com, mail.example.com, and blog.example.com. So as you can see, these mail.example.com and blog.example.com are actually subdomains of example.com. And this is how you can find subdomains using SSL certificate for any particular domain. Let's see how we can do that. For that, you can use this online tool, crt.sh. Over here, you can just type the domain that you want to find the SSL certificates for. And there you can see a lot of subdomains, their common names, and when the certificate was logged and other information. So it's a vast amount of data and it gives you a quick overview of all the subdomains of a particular domain. Now, another way of passive subdomain animation is using DNS lookup tools. Tools like DNS Dumpster is a free online service and it allows you to discover and map out DNS records for any domain including subdomains, associated IP addresses, and DNS servers. Again, over here, I'm going to type testlog.com and click on Start Test. Now, it's giving me multiple subdomains over here and their IP address and also the ASN number. Now, what is ASN? Now, this is very important because this can also help you find subdomains unique subdomains. ASN stands for Autonomous System Number and it is a unique identifier for a network of IP addresses under one organization control. So in this case it's tesla.com and it's going to show me all the network of IP addresses that are associated with this particular domain. So if you know the ASN, you can identify other subdomains that are hosted in the same network and it can often reveal hidden subdomains. It also tells you which provider it is, like is it AWS, Google, etc. that is hosting the domain. For example, in the screen you can see that this particular host has this ASN name and the ASN number and below the ASN number you can see the IP range as well, 199.120.50.0-24. So this is an IP range. What you can do is you can feed this IP range to Nmap and you can check which IP is live and which IP is not live and if any IP is live, what services are running on that particular IP so you can identify vulnerabilities. Now this is a really good approach if you want to find hidden subdomains that are less known to other bug hunters. Another passive subdomain innovation tool you can look for is Netcraft. 
you have to provide your domain. There's options like site contains. Site starts with, site ends with. In this case, I'm going to click on site contains. So it's going to show me all the domains that has tesla.com in it. So that's why you are able to see sites that are not Tesla itself. It just has that word in it. So to filter that, you can go back and select site ends with. So it's going to show you all the subdomains of the site that ends with tesla.com. And this will give you a more accurate result. And it also shows what operating system that particular host is using and what technology it is using. Okay, now this is way of passive subdomain enumeration. Let's move on to active subdomain enumeration. So now I'm going to show you some commands that you can use in your terminal to find subdomains actively. It means querying the target domain directly. So in this case, you can use techniques like DNS brute forcing, zone transfers, and web crawling to find subdomains. One of the best tools for that is amass. A simple command would be amass nm-d to provide the domain tesla.com. So you are performing an enumeration on this domain. And this is going to take time, so that's why I'm going to skip this. But you can try this command on your own. The another command you can go for is this one. This is brute forcing. So you are basically trying to brute force the domains. So that's why you have to provide a particular word list. In this case, I'm using this word list subdomain, word list.txt from secklist. You can provide any word list of your choice. I'm not going to mention subfinder here because I think pretty much everyone knows about subfinder and gobuster as well. They pretty much do the same thing. You can either brute force or do web crawling through them, or you can use Durbuster as well. These are pretty much basic tools, but if you are lazy and you don't want to run a bunch of commands, you can go for Recon FTW. This tool contains multiple subdomain enumeration tool, and it's going to use all those tools and combine the results and find the subdomains that are live. And in the help menu, we can see by providing the hyphen s command, we can search for subdomains. hyphen D to provide the domain and then hyphen S. Now this can also perform attacks for you, but in this case, we are only finding subdomains. So this will take time. And you can see it has already found subdomains, 785 new subdomains through passive enumeration and 364 new subdomains through search transparency. So it's going through the things we did manually but I want you to understand how this thing is working then move on to the automation tool so it makes more sense. Okay, I'm going to press Control c and look at the initial results. So it is in my recon folder, tesla.com. And over here, I have my subdomain.txt file. So I'm going to cat it. And you can see that it has find subdomains from multiple tools. But you cannot see the protocol here like HTTP or HTTPS. You can probe it through HTTPX tool. So that's what I'm going to do next. Just type cat subdomains.txt and pipe HTTPX toolkit in my case and then match code 200. So it's going to give you all the domains that is giving 200 status code. And that's why it's called active subdomain enumeration because it's basically interacting with the web server to find subdomains. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I didn't want to make it too long. I hope you learned new things. Let me know your reviews in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.